Seven past three on ABC Radio WA. Look, my next guest is a marriage celebrant based in Western Australia. Now, over the coming years, she's going to be remarrying, and I'll put that in inverted commas, a couple who have been together for 26 years. Uh, They have children in their 20s uh, and they're still in love. The only difference is that one of them has transitioned into a female and the, uh, the husband, Rob, is now Robin, who is recommitting to his wife, Carol. Uh, Joanne Armstrong, a married celebrant who's performing a recommitment ceremony, is uh, with us. Joanne, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Thank you so much for this opportunity, Barry. Tell me, what is a recommitment ceremony? Essentially, it is a way to get around the current um, law, um, and it is no different to, to me as any other wedding. Um, I treat it as the same. The only difference is that you obviously can't marry a couple twice. This couple are already married. Um, and you also cannot marry same-sex couples under the current legislation of the Marriage Amendment Act, which is based on the Marriage Act 1961. Have you have you performed recommitment ceremonies for um, for people who have been married and then just decided to recommit? There hasn't been a, a change of gender involved. Absolutely, it's not uncommon for people to uh, want to reseal the deal um, or give what's called a vow affirmation as well. Um, the most recent couple were in their 70s. Um, one is critically ill with cancer, and they just thought any excuse for a party. Um, obviously, having gone through so many life changes, it seemed fitting for them to actually celebrate it all over again. Tell us a bit, if you could, about the, this couple that we're talking about today. So. We have um, the husband, Rob, who's now Robin, who's recommitting Uh to his wife, Carol, Uh as a female. Tell us about the, the couple and their family. Such a gorgeous couple who have come through to me via recommendation um, from a venue. Um, Essentially, they are no different to any other married couple um, that love one another. The only difference is that um, despite the 28 years of marriage as a heterosexual couple, um, through lots of um, self-learning and self-reflection and a lot of dialogue within the family, um, the husband um, has actually come to terms with the fact that he's in the wrong body and he has always felt that way so it has been a really difficult arduous journey but one where he's been honest with his wife and despite the difficulties that they've they've had to go through they both really love each other um they've been very lucky to help transition um and to have his sex recognized on his passport on his driver's license through medicare however when they went to the birth deaths and marriages registry they were told that the only way that they could have his sex recognized on the birth certificate was if they were divorced now you can imagine how they they obviously feel with all of this and um, not only is it discriminatory um, but I think that they're entitled to also take stock of all the massive changes that they've endured of the fact that they're a loving family they're not going to get divorced that's the last resort they've got the full support of those that love them around them including their teenager um, their their kids in their 20s tell tell us about that if you could Joanne what what has been the reaction excuse me from the children I think that obviously it's been a huge um, set of facts for them to grapple with. It's been confusing and confronting. But I think, you know, given that they are a close-knit family and always have been, they love each other. It's it's quite a simple thing, Barry. And this is where I think, um, regardless of whether people are, are gay, lesbian, um, bisexual, trans or intersex, they are human just like any other. Um, and... For them, it's quite simple. They want to continue spending the rest of their lives together, but they don't want to have to hide from who they actually are. My guest this afternoon, Joanne Joanne Armstrong, who's a marriage celebrant in the southwest of the state, we're talking about um, her recommitment ceremony that she is going to be providing for a couple. This couple is a little bit different because the, um, the husband... Rob is now Robin, uh, who is recommitting to his wife, Carol. So they're still in love. They still uh, want it to be known that they are are committed to each other. Um, Did did this couple have, uh, I don't want to cast aspersions on your fine abilities, but did this couple have trouble finding a celebrant? I'm not quite sure how long they looked for, but I've, you know, since moving to Margaret River, I have made a big deal about, um, you know, marriage equality. 
that I've spoken with, I like highlighting that anything that is against the grind, anything avant-garde, I love helping people um, of any any gender or any sexuality. And I, I was very lucky to have parenting that gave me guidance to accept people regardless of, of you know, what their preference is. And I think that we're well behind the times, Barry, and just hope hope that this postal plebiscite will see change. The uh, You mentioned the children who, you know, they... they... Uh, obviously found it a bit confronting initially, but uh, are fully supportive. Are they attending the recommitment ceremony? Yes, they are. Um, and it will only be close-knit family, um, but they've got their their full support. This is their, their dad slash mum, so I don't know how um, the family will be calling one another, but I do know that Robin is really looking forward to also just wearing a dress. This is an opportunity she didn't have originally on her wedding day. So we'll have two brides in two dresses, which I think is pretty cool. How's Robin travelling with it all? And also, Carol, the, you know, the, this change in their lives? I think frustrated as well as excited. You know, they've had to make some personal dis- decisions to plough forward and to do what feels right for them. Um, I did ask Carol just before the interview um, if she had one message to give. Um, essentially, I summarised uh, summarised what she said. And um, for them, the debate's gone haywire and it's about facts. It's not about religion. It's not about politics. It's not about anyone else. It's about the right for each human to be treated equally and to have a choice. And it's the right to have a choice, nothing more, nothing less, because at the end of the day, as they see it, they are just people. And their message to the public is treat people with the same respect that you want to be treated yourself. We'll leave you there. Joanne, thank you. Appreciate you coming on and um, again, Barry. telling us your story. Joanne Armstrong, who's a marriage celebrant in the southwest of the state.